Hi guys, today we are going to see how you can solve your Bluetooth issue in Windows 10. So let's say you're facing an issue where your Bluetooth devices are suddenly not connected to your Windows or your Bluetooth does not turn on properly or the available devices are not displayed here. So if you're facing any of these issues, do not worry. We're going to see how you can solve it without much effort. So after watching this video, you will know how to solve any Bluetooth issue and connect to a device. Okay, I'm Brian from Website Learners and let's start solving our Bluetooth issue. Now to solve the Bluetooth issue, we are going to see 6 different ways. The first way is to try the basic methods. So first, let's try restarting the Bluetooth device. Just click here. Now turn off the Bluetooth and wait for 10 seconds. Then enable it and it might connect to your device now. So try connecting to your headset. Now before connecting to your windows, Make sure your headset is working properly by connecting to your phone. Once you have checked that, make sure your headset is in pairing mode. And now try connecting to Windows. If it is connected to the Bluetooth device, you're good to go. Okay, if your Bluetooth is still not connecting to the headset. Next, let's try reconnecting the headset. So right click on the Bluetooth icon. Click go to settings. Now here, remove the previously connected device. So just click remove device. And click add Bluetooth. Then try connecting to your device. If it is not connecting, next toggle the flight mode. So just click here. And enable the flight mode. And then wait for a few seconds. Then turn it off. Now try connecting to your headset again. And it will get connected. If not, try restarting your laptop or PC and repeat these steps. Then try connecting once again. Now these are the basic methods which you can use to solve your Bluetooth connectivity issue. Okay, now let's go to the second way which is to troubleshoot your Bluetooth device. If there is any problem with your Bluetooth device and Windows, troubleshooting can help solve your issues. So to do that, just click the Windows icon, search for troubleshoot settings and you will get this option. Open it. Here, click additional troubleshooters. Now go to Bluetooth and click run the troubleshooter. Now it will try to solve the Bluetooth problems and you will get this message. This means you have successfully done troubleshooting your Bluetooth device. Once it's done, try connecting to your device. If it is connected, you are good to go. Okay, next let's go to the third way which is to change the Bluetooth service to automatic. So to change the service, go to start and search for services. Then open this. Here, look for Bluetooth Audio Gateway Service. Right click on it. Now go to Properties. And here, change the service to Automatic. Now click Apply. And then click OK. Once you have done this, restart your device and try connecting to your Bluetooth device. OK. Now let's go to the fourth way which is to update your Bluetooth driver. Now if you have recently updated your Windows, your Bluetooth may not function properly. This can be an issue with the Bluetooth driver. Now to fix it, you can update the Bluetooth driver to the latest version. So to update the driver, right click on the Windows icon, go to Device Manager and here go to Bluetooth. Now right click on the Bluetooth device and click update driver. Now if you have the latest version available, it will get updated. Once you have updated the driver, restart your device and try connecting to your headset. If your drivers are already up to date or if the issue is still present after the update, we can go to the fifth method which is to reinstall the Bluetooth driver. Now reinstalling the driver might fix issues in the driver during the update. So to reinstall the driver, go back to device manager, go to Bluetooth, 
right click on the bluetooth driver and click uninstall device so now we have successfully uninstalled the bluetooth driver once you have done this just shut down your laptop or pc and then start it again Now while restarting, Windows will automatically search for the missing driver for the Bluetooth device and then try to install it. So once you have restarted your PC, try connecting to your device and see if it works. Or sometimes, the Windows may not be able to install the required driver during restart. If that happens, you will not be able to find your Bluetooth setting here. So to install the driver, let's go back to Device Manager, click here and select Scan for Hardware Changes. Now go to Bluetooth. Now you will get the Bluetooth device like this. And like we did before, right click on it and select update driver. Once you have done this, the Bluetooth driver will be installed. Now once again, restart the device and see if you can connect to the Bluetooth. Okay, next let's go to the final way which is to check the windows for updates. Now sometimes windows might have some bugs that might cause an issue with the Bluetooth. So it is recommended to keep your windows updated. Now to check for your windows update, Click on the windows icon, search for update and you will get this option. Open it, here click check for updates. And install all the recommended updates. Once you have installed all the updates, check if the issue is fixed. If you don't have any updates available. Or if the issue still exists after the update, you can go to optional updates here and look for any driver related to Bluetooth. If you have one, try installing it and see if the problem is fixed. If the problem exists even after all these ways, there might be some hardware damage to the Bluetooth device. So now to solve this issue, we recommend getting a Bluetooth adapter from Amazon. There is a link in the description to get this adapter. And once you have purchased the adapter, you can just plug in the Bluetooth adapter to your USB port and use the Bluetooth on your laptop or PC. Okay, so that's it guys. These are the different ways to solve the Bluetooth issue in Windows 10. Now if you want to solve the Wi-Fi issues on Windows 10, you can watch this video. And if you would like to see more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates whenever we upload a new video. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.